Uh, thank you, Mr. McClintock. Uh, you know, here we are again. Uh, Ms. Schwartz starts off by saying that we refuse to consider a balanced approach. All I can say is not. I mean, every time I've spoken today, we have considered revenue. We put revenue on the table with our budget, with tax reform. You want to get rid of the loopholes? Look at our tax reform plan. Look at those things. Those are the things that we put on the table to grow revenues. But we're growing it through economic activity, not by trying to target certain groups to, to further increase the, the uh, load on their back and to reduce economic opportunity for the entire economy. The next statement that's been made is we're trying to balance the budget on the backs of the middle class and the poor. Nothing could be further than truth, from the truth. What we're trying to do is take the impact of the Obama democratic economy off the backs of the middle class and the poor that have been shoved there because of the of poor policy decisions. Look, we continue, um, and these programs uh, continue to enslave people uh, to being hooked on government uh, handouts and, and that are paid by hardworking taxpayers. The, the balanced approach we want is more revenues from tax reform and from greater economic growth. Let's talk about the Buffett tax for a minute. What news came out the week that President Obama was out touting the Buffett rule? The GSA scandal. And that just proves to the American people that you can't take increased tax dollars into the federal government and count on unaccountable, unelected bureaucrats to act responsibly with their tax dollars. The wrong, that's the wrong thing to, to tell the American people. And here's what Mr. Buffett said this weekend about the Buffett rule. It doesn't cure all. It doesn't cure all revenue problems even remotely. He went on to say that fixing the federal debt was dependent on reining in federal expenses. Then he goes on and says, in my original article, I said we've got major problems on the expenditure side. And then he goes on to say, let's see if I can find the other thing. Uh, it would be nice to see GDP galloping at 4 to 5 percent. Those are the things he said, and that's what we've proposed in our budget, which is a truly balanced approach. Again, we, we hear the uh, same attacks on oil and cor corporate taxes. Yeah, go ahead and tax oil companies, and that way you can get less gasoline and get it at a higher cost. Go ahead and tax corporations. That way you get fewer jobs. You can run mon one, more of them overseas. You talk about spending money on education. Yeah, I agree we need to spend more money on education, K-12 to and higher ed. But that's a state and local function. So if you want to give states and local governments more money to spend on higher ed, grow the economy so that they have more revenues coming into their respective budgets. Again, this does, these dollars don't have to go through D.C. Leave them at home where the people can spend them better. And let's, let's talk about examples of, of trying to, to tax a smaller and smaller group. In 2007, California had 144,000 taxpayers out of a population of 36 million that paid over half the total tax load of that, that, that uh, state. Those billionaires are moving to Texas. And so California keeps digging itself into a larger and larger hole. They keep raising rates higher and higher and getting less revenue out of it. If you want to have less economy and less economic growth opportunities for the middle class and for the lower class of this country, for all classes of this country, then keep raising taxes. Thank you, and I yield back. If the gentleman from